everyone, welcome to Sleep at D, and, okay, a lot's been happening in music, and this is, like, the most recent, like, the last few days, and let's go ahead and find out what's been happening. Okay, a lot's been happening with Kesha and her song, Die Young, her first single for the album Warrior. Um, you'll see a review for Warrior in here soon, and, um, I really love the album, but you'll hear about that in the review. Um, Die Young is expected to fall extremely sharply from number one on pop songs, and, it's been banned from most pop radio stations because of the title Die Young and it being people related to the Sandy Hook Elementary shooting. And um, I don't really see it because Die Young is about uh, seizing the moment and falling in love and, you know, not taking it for granted. And I don't see how that has anything to do with, you know, the shooting. Pump Up Kicks has also been banned from radio stations. Uh, I don't know if they're going to lift the bands eventually or not, but um, we'll kind of see what happens with that. And it's really sad, too, for Kesha, um, because, you know, her album Warrior don't have, another sing don't have a single now pretty much for the next month. And that's going to hurt its initial sales, and after the initial sales go down, you can't get them back. So, we'll see what happens, and I don't see Come On doing well either because of this because it kind of follows the same note that Die Young had, and maybe she'll pick a different single next, I don't know. Um, I'd really like her to pick a different single next, because I don't want it to, that this incident to affect her next single again. Um, I really think she should pick a slower song. I don't know, just something not so out there, just for now, you know. Like, Thinking of You, maybe, or um, I don't know. Anyway, and um, Kesha tweeted that she was forced to sing the song, Die Young, and um, the tweet has now been deleted, but apparently her label forced her to sing the song, Die Young, and she didn't want to, you know, she said she completely understands that, you know, so, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that it's unimportant what happened, but at the same time, I don't see Die Young relating to that, because that's not what the song's really about, I don't think. I mean, I guess to each his own, though, and if Kesha is okay with it, then I'm not going to put up a fight, you know. It's fine with me. As long as Kesha's fine with it, you know. Um, let's see. Did anything else happen? Oh, it's expected that the Die Young's expected to have the biggest drop in Billboard's 60 year history. Um, one of the biggest. And it's supposed to have the biggest drop ever, possibly, on pop songs, the radio. So, we'll kind of see what happens with that. I don't really know yet. Also, the United States of Pop 2012, the top 25 songs of 2012, is now remixed into a video by DJ Airworm. He does it every year. This is the sixth one, I think. And um, the link for it will be down in the description. You can click on that, and you can watch the previous five years if you haven't seen those. And it's the top 25 songs of the year, all in one video. Okay, and Alicia Keys. She's been sued. Um... What's his name? Earl Sherman. The song Lonely Boy. He says that those two songs are just a little too similar. I, however, maybe it's just because I haven't heard Lonely Boy in so long, or rarely at all, but I don't see a comparison to those two songs at all. Maybe that's just me, but especially the one with Nicki Minaj in it. I haven't really heard the Blue Light version. So maybe it does more so, but the Inferno version with Nicki Minaj definitely don't. And um, I think that I think they, they should just throw that out because Earl Sherman doesn't have all the legal um, details that he needs in his case, in his um, court filing thing, whatever. And um, so I don't think much will happen with it, but if it does, then we'll keep you updated with that. Okay, now albums in the near future that will be coming out. We have T's Eyes, Heavy is, your, Heavy is the Head, coming up December 18th. January 15th, we have Green Day's Trey and ASAP Rocky's Live Long, Long Live ASAP. Wow. This is why I should edit videos, but I can't this week, so let's go ahead and continue. January 22nd, we have Darius Rucker's True Believers. Um, January 22nd, we also have... Bad Religions, True Nation. I think they're like an old 80s band, right? Maybe. Um, we also have Mumford & Sons, The Road to Red, to Red Rock. 
a special edition. On January 29th, we have Tegan and Sarah's Heartthrob, and recently released that you need to pick up. Well, maybe not all of them, but you know your favorites. We have Rihanna's Unapologetic, Bruno Mars's or Unorthodox Jukebox. That's a, no, not really a tongue twister. Never mind. Kesha's Warrior, Wiz Khalifa's O N I F C, Alicia Keys' Girl on Fire, Philip Phillips' World from the Side of the Moon. Kelly Clarkson, The Greatest Hits, Chapter 1, Pitbull, Global Warming, One Direction, Take Me Home, Green Day, Dose, Christina Aguilera, Lotus, and Aerosmith, uh, music from another dimension. I know I'm not supposed to express my view when I announce albums, but I know that I don't like Aerosmith, but you know, to each his own, if you like Aerosmith, then yay, buy their album, I guess. I don't know, maybe not, just do the download it illegally. Um, and how? Oh, oh, I hope I don't go to jail for that now. Oh, I'm going to jail. No, I'm not. I don't really care. I'll give up, uh, 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 as Madonna said. Anyway, I hope you guys join me with the next video, and the next video will be edited so it'll be shorter. I may be able to edit this a little with the YouTube editor. We'll see, but this will probably be it. So, I'll see you in the next video. Um, I don't have the date readily available, but hold on a second. It's right here. If you just hold on two seconds, um, the next video on this channel will be January 2nd, the next video at all will be on January, or December 22nd, oh, what was I just recording, December 22nd, December 22nd we'll do, um, kind of like a vlog where I take camera on the thing and show my life to you, and yeah, I didn't have that much room on my camera this time though, so, anyway, I'll see you January, or December 22nd on that, although the footage from that's a few weeks ago. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go now. Okay, hold on. Um, Diana was sitting outside of my window. I was gonna, she didn't want on camera. I was gonna get her on camera. Anyway, see you then. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye.